Welcome, welcome, you guys. This is Tessindra. I've decided to start a fresh campaign in CK2 on the Jade Dragon expansion. Basically, I need to keep myself occupied before Holy Fury comes out, which is... It hasn't been announced when it's going to be. It's basically going to coincide with 2.9. And I'm just going to keep playing CK2 until it comes out. Because I'm too excited. Every time there's a CK2 expansion, I get really, really hyped. But I'm going to play roughly uh, in the sort of... Uh, the pagan, Germanic, Slavic uh, area. Um, and now the music kicks in. I don't know why this map mode is here. It, it's not that useful when it comes to information but it's okay it's okay we go with realms and i was thinking of starting with nah it's a bit overkill i think how about we start out as this chief here in pomerania we are slavic i believe yes we are slavic pomeranian independent and we have three duchies to work with and maybe we can take over uh the kingdom of pomerania Maybe. We do have Saxony here, who is Germanic, is, and is going to be an issue. Yeah. But let's just dive into this, shall we? And everything has been saved here. This is the same rule set I use on the previous campaign I did. It's on Iron Man mode because I would just prefer that. It makes me play better. I hope. So... Let's just dive into this and see how we do. And let's take it nice and slow. And not do like speed 4 or 5 on times here. So Pomeranian Slavic High Chief. We are tribes and we are Slavic heathens. Okay. Uh, I guess we can't do any Holy Wars. No, we can't do Holy Wars until we are reformed. Uh, bad at conversions. Women can be spy masters. No raises head. But once we reform the religion, we can do all of that juicy stuff. We can have concubines. Women can hold temple holdings. Priests can marry. And priests can inherit titles. Okay. So, let's see what we got over here. Let's see my dude. Intricate web weaver. Okay. We got diligent chaste. Oh, that's not good. My first character is chaste and that means we need to find ourselves a lustful woman let's see if we can find that shall we give me adults please and give me slavics so these six women here um i'm looking for lustful this one here lustful uh mastermind theologian cruel diligent gregarious with uh well, she's got a lot of uh, diplomacy. Um, is there any reason to pick somebody else? There are no, like, quick, strong genius traits here. You have a lot of learning. But learning mostly just affects your tech. And in this early on in the game, tech doesn't mean anything. Um, but your stats are kind of even. 12, 10, 11. Um, I think I kind of need the lustful trait here. Just to counteract the uh, chaste. So we'll go with this one. Basically. Uh, let's do our crown focus. And I suppose we could go all in on... Uh, we can go seduction. I just want my kid. So we'll go fertility. And we will groom an heir. Yes. Let's just make sure that our dynasty is going to survive. Okay. We don't have anyone to nominate here. Alright. Let's take a look at my council here. We have one landed character. Yeah, we got one temple over here. And she has got 15 learning. Yeah, you should be... My diviner. Thank you. And you should be somebody else. Go away. Um, you've got some nice uh, intrigue, I suppose. Double digits. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. What do I have available to me? Only this guy. Right. Um, I think I'll just assign this to you. 
But let's take a look at um, people that we can invite to our court that are of my religion. Let's see here. My religion. Gender any. Join court, yes. And... Yeah, that's fine. So there's a lot of people here willing to join my court. Shall we take a look at some of these? Uh, let's see. Genital... What are they called? Uh, like good generic traits. There's no strong, there's no quick, there's no genius, and no attractive. So there's nothing there. Hereditary traits, yes, that's what it's called. So we got... This guy's a decent diplomacy, but he's an intricate rub weaver, okay? You're craven, I don't want you. This woman here has a lot of stewardship, but uh, she's a woman. If we just swap to men only... Um, you're weak. Ah, I don't really want any of you guys. Craven. Craven. Uh, I think I'll pass on this, but if I do need some dudes, I will invite them into my kingdom. It's not... It's a high chief. High chiefdom. Designated regent is gonna be this landed lady over here. Cupbearer... Uh, this is my marshal. Champion... You're just a random commander, but sure, you can be my champion. There we go. Everybody seems to like me a fair amount. That's very nice. And there's nobody here with a level 4 education. But I think I'll put you as my court tutor. That's fine. Um, Alright, I think we're done with this. Let's put it on speed 3. And see what we got here. So, give me the gold. Yes. And let's start buying some investment. Let's start investing some cash into market villages. Hopefully, we will get this money back eventually. So we do have three holdings and one temple holding over here. We have 1,100 troops. We can get a bit more if I do train troops here. Build legend. You guys can spy in Paris. And everything else is fine. So if I take a look at the religion map mode. Yeah, the Slavics are over here and Remova is... Uh, no, you know, it's over there. And Pomerania is this. So if we conquer stuff to our west, we will be mostly fine. Um, all right. I can only do... Uh, I can do force vassalization on you. Do your claim on Pomerania. All right. This duchy goes into his territory. Oh, so that's just basically a free extra province. Does your claim? Yeah, there's no negatives. Yeah, okay. Does your claim on that? Let's just go ahead and do that. Should be a quick and easy war. You know, unless I drop dead. Unless they kill me. Which could happen. <laughs> it can happen, definitely. We're still making a bit of cash, which is nice. So the idea is to... Let's see if he comes closer to me. here. Uh, do I want elite troops? I suppose it's okay. So, you're gonna come to my land like an idiot. Thank you. Because I did not want to cross this river into his territory. Come on. You improve relations with High Chief of Greater Poland. Okay. Why? That's fine. So you have two armies, right? You only have two duchies to raise troops from. Yeah, so we already get a flank. So my dude is on the flank. That's fine. So he's not in danger, really. And that was beautiful. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab this. And I think this is a holy site for my religion. Yeah, Slavic remover. Okay. So we hold already four out of our five holdings. We 
really? But I'm pretty sure this one here is like far in the south. It's in Bulgaria. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> the chances of yeah, uh, the chances of us getting this far south and taking this are not great. I'm not gonna lie, they're not great. But maybe we can reform the faith without it. We only need like ten more moral authority, and that should be fine. Oh no, but we have to control three of the sites ourselves, right? Yeah, that might be a bit more difficult. Block this one and Zealand over here. No, Zealand is the Germanic one. Oh boy. <clears throat> So this one, one, two, three, four, five. Oh boy, yeah. It's gonna be difficult for us to form, uh, reform our faith, apparently. Pick patron deity. Okay. I can spend 25 piety to pick a deity. Well, uh, stewardship, learning, intrigue. I don't want a penalty to my marshal. I guess we can do this. We get one penalty to intrigue and I get some marshal. Sure, that's fine. You don't have enough men to siege this down. You suck. You're missing seven dudes. He's actually seven dudes short of being able to siege this. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I'm at 98% over here. Let's see if he attacks me across the river. Because if he does, he will die. We got a massive recruitment drive in our capital. Oh, you're not crossing? Oh, we have 100%. It's fine. So, offer peace, enforce demands. Goodbye, sir. So, I took this away from him. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Now, you are independent as well, aren't you? You have no men at all. No, you're part of this guy. Oh, okay. I could subjugate you. Or I could subjugate Brandenburg. Do I want to do that? Subjugation. Uh, we could start off strong and just start doing some subjugations. If we could, like, take this over from this guy... We can have six holdings. Yeah, let's do that. Declare war. Subjugation. Why not? We don't have a son yet, so that could be uh, problematic. We could have this woman as our concubine, but she's kind of gross. So find characters. Give me women who are willing to join my court. And are any of them lustful? There's one here. Okay. Let's invite you to my court and let's make you my bitch, basically. <laughs> I know it sounds coarse, but still, it's basically what I'm doing. Let's uh, fall back and see if he comes to me. Thank you. And we will make you my concubine. Thank you. Because I need heirs. That's basically what I need. You guys are here on the 16th. And you guys are idiots. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have an heir. I have an heir already. He's very generic. He's got no special traits. But I think I will put him on struggle focus. We need a powerful warrior to start conquering everything around us. Market village has been built. Nice. That should fix our income slightly. Slightly. But as long as we have our troops raised, that's going to be an issue. Somebody joined my court? Why did you join my court? You're a random dude. A master seducer in my court. Why? Why did this guy join my court? Okay, so we're going to siege down your capital. We can probably just leave the temple alone. It's fine. Once we're done with this, we have used our subjugation CB. And we could just imprison this guy or wait until he gets rebellious and then just take it from him 
that would be fine. We just need to find a reason to arrest him and then revoke his stuff. That would be ideal. Come on, Siege. Siege it down. 12%. I could put it on speed 4, but I don't really want to rush this. Okay. 42%. I suppose we could seats down the temple then. The fall of the Avars. Okay. The Avar Kaganet was established in Europe in 567 after the Avars had migrated into the Carpathian Basin from the east. They crushed the Gepids and allied with the Lombards to form a strong realm in the area. For long periods, they alternated between conflict and truce with the Eastern Roman Empire and had close dealings with the Lombard kings. Now, however, this once proud realm has fallen. The area is no longer ruled by an Avar dynasty and shall once again be known as the ancient name of Pannonia. So the Avars have fallen and Pannonia is going to be a thing, right? Right? Hmm. This should change to Pannonia, shouldn't it? What is the highest one here? Uh, Khan of Pannonia and Khan of Bulgaria. Do I have to wait until the monthly tick or something? That's fine. That's fine. Let's continue sitting down this temple. Is this the holy site for anybody? No, it's just a temple. Okay. Uh, do I have to attack into you? I don't really want to. Hmm. This should fall. Yeah. No, no, no. Why did I do that? Okay, 100% war. That's fine. So, offer peace, enforce demands. You are now my bitch. Wonderful. Now, can I imprison you? Uh, I could, but I think I should wait for a reason to revoke this from him. Let's see, if I try to get him killed. No. Hmm. I want this for... Uh... I want this. I want Berlin. Give me Berlin. I am his heir. Can I kill his wife? I can seduce his wife. Maybe we can convince his wife to help me kill him? That would be interesting. So my chancellor could be him. Sure. Why not? He hates my guts. But he's a better chancellor than the previous guy. Um, I made sure to attend a minor event in Brennerberg in the hope of seducing Chiefess Aldona. But despite my best attempts, she remains unimpressed. Okay, so we're gonna try again. Keep on trying to bet all the biddies, right? So we've gained three extra provinces. Confess my love. She is lustful. Make a lewd suggestion. Oh, there we go. We fall in love with Aldona. She is now my lover. Yes. Okay, so if I were to try to kill you, plot to kill. Oh, she won't join? Really? Can I not invite her to plot? She won't do it. Really? Why not? Base Reluctance, 3. Her opinion of me is 3 as well. And she likes him, apparently? Okay. My concubine does not love me. While love is not exactly necessary, I still like to see her beautiful face light up with smiles and laughter. So I've decided to romance her. Okay, so I'm gonna romance my concubine. She wants to get married. Oh, that's so sad. Oh... I'm gonna keep at it, it's fine. She did not like that. Repelled. Okay. If you get pregnant, you're already pregnant. Oh boy. So, can I revoke this from you? I know, I don't have the laws required to revoke. Well, keep at it, it's fine. Hmm. 
maybe maybe this is my child it could be she has a lot of fertility and so do I me got a lot of it I got 25 45 but minus um, 15 so we got 30 fertility oh there we go my concubine concubine it's not a, it's not a tractor combine there she likes me thank you attracted okay it did not make up for the negative 30 from being repelled but that's fine um we have a truce with you i reckon yes what else can we go after here in pomerania uh we can go after this one thing here oh she likes us more thank you thank you thank you so bohemia down here has four vassals and a thousand men so it's unlikely we can go after him for this province but uh, maybe later once we got some prestige and we can raise some tribal troops that would be fine oh thanks to my romantic efforts uh, sweet Jarka, my concubine has also become my lover okay that's kind of cool she really adores me awesome so we got two lovers right now one of them is my concubine uh huh. I would still like to kill this guy. But nobody wants to help me. Okay. Commander of Brandenburg. Invite to plot. Come on. Okay, invite to plot. No. Uh. Ooh. It seems my dalliance with Chiefess Aldona has resulted in a child. Fortunately. He thinks it's his. <laughs> this is my kid. This is my kid. Ah, oh, and he's stressed. Ah, oh, you poor guy. You poor guy. <laughs> Not only did I usurp his titles, I slept with his wife, and his first child is actually mine. Oh, I love CK2. I love CK2. This is so much fun. And Saxony is gonna go ahead and... It's a subjugation war. You wasted your subjugation CP on this one guy? Oh, this is a chief. Oh, you... No, it, he used it. You used your subjugation CP on this one dude. You're an idiot. Let's see here. I can become charitable. Diplomacy goes up. Or become greedy. No, give me diploma charitable. Charitable. Ah, come on. I've got three. Like, what do they call it? I know that it's called great vices, but this is like um, virtues. Yes. If I could get four of the seven virtues, that would be awesome. I'm still like a seducing bastard here. I could become lustful and get rid of chaste. That would be nice. If I can get rid of chaste. Chase does nothing for me. There are no Christians around us. The piety is meh. And the learning, I don't need. So Chase has to go. That's why I kind of chose seduction. Border disputes. Can I form Pomerania? Uh, I, I have 50%. I need to have one more province and then I can form it. Alright. I guess there's no way we can go to war with you. Oh, it seems the guy died. Yeah, this guy died. And now there are fewer vassals over here. You improve relations with Chief Miliduch. Wait, what? My Chancellor, Chief Miliduch, has improved relations with Chief Miliduch. How does that work? How does my chancellor improve relations with himself? Like, for me. That doesn't make any sense at all. How? How? Improve relations? <laughs> How does that work? I don't get it. I don't get it. How do you improve relations with yourselves on my behalf? Wow, alright. So you've got 1,500 troops, your vassals got 500, you've got 
400 and you've got 300. Oh, wait. Ooh. I received word from my co-conspirator, Shaman Yaroslav, that the bowmen are in place and waiting for the right moment to strike at Chief Miliduch. Yes. Let's do it. Don't fail me now. Oh, come on. Kill. I, I, I'm dying here. Oh. Success. Chief Miliduch was caught in a deadly arrow crossfire between the scroll depository and a grassy knoll. The story we concocted about a lone bowman seems to be working perfectly. Nice. So right now there's only that kid, my kid, is in charge of that place. Uh, I don't have a good chancellor. Can I invite somebody to my court? Let's see here. Give me men. Give me, give me men. You are a really good diplomat. Let's invite you to my court. You're gonna be my chancellor. So should I kill this kid? That's the question. It's my kid though. So I'll invite you to be my chancellor. And I can kill this kid. And a lot of people will help me do this. Yeah, this shaman here of Havelberg is a real bastard. He's always willing to help me kill people. And I can bribe my spy master for 267 plot power? Damn, this kid is fucked. It's my kid. But he has his uh, bastard dynasty. Okay, there we go. Instantly fired. He, get, he managed to get one of the maids. For a princely sum, she has agreed to solve our little problem for us. Really? Thank you. We do have very nice intrigue. So that is paid off so far. And we can actually have seven holdings right now. Oh, I hate that sound, but I'm happy. Oh, unfortunately, the maid was caught and revealed my complicity in this matter before she hanged. Oh, shit. So I got known murderer. Ah, uh, that's not good. But still, I got six holdings right now, and I don't have a penalty to new administration on this. That is very, very nice. So we have 2,500 troops. That is awesome. And I can arrest somebody? For killing my kid, I can arrest this guy. <laughs> really? All right, let's do that. Everybody ro rise up, go over here, and we're going to go ahead and arrest this guy. Bastard, he killed my son. <laughs> this bastard killed my son. He has to pay. There we go, we caught him. So, what can I do to this guy? I can ransom him. I can banish him. Can I execute him? It's viewed as tyrannical. I can ransom him for 25 gold. How about that? How about that? Come on, give me money. Give me money! Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we could get some marketplaces built. Market villages. Market village. And market village. Nice! So we are investing some cash into our holdings right now. Ooh, this is nice. We can pay 20 ducats. And we can get 250 prestige or 250 piety. Give me the prestige. So we will have 500 prestige to call on tribal troops if somebody decides to attack us. And I think I went with... Yeah, well, no, Grumanair. Okay, that's fine. So far, this concubine has not gotten pregnant yet. And my wife... She hasn't gotten pregnant either. Do I need another one? Slothful, greedy, gluttonous, no. Lustful, gregarious, slothful. Why don't you like me? Murdered close kin, my lover. Well, I'm gonna make you my concubine then. <laughs> I murdered our baby and I'm gonna make her my concubine. Oh, Jesus. This woman over here was married to this guy over here, Miliduch. So I murdered her husband. And then I murdered the baby we made together, and then I made her my concubine. Ah, uh, rival, murdered close kin. 
Ah, oh, this is this makes me happy. This makes me happy. I don't know why being such a bastard makes me happy, but uh, oh well. We can get a court doctor. That's fine. Nominate succession is gonna be my only son. Thank you. And we can create the Duchy of Pomeralia. Oh right, we've got two of these right now because this guy was already a duke. Okay. And we can press ducal claims for Altmark. Oh right, because I'm the duke. Well, I don't really want to do that, but I do want to become the king of Pomerania. And we need to get one more holding somehow. Uh, maybe we go to war with uh, Mecklenburg over here? You got 700 troops. Your vassal has less. So if I declare war on you, I can't do this. I would have to get a normal claim on this. Let's see how much a normal claim is going to cost me. Because uh, I would like a claim. I would like to form my kingdom. But in order to get the money to form the kingdom, I would need to make some tributaries. I think. You are at war right now. Oh. Defending against Saxony in the Saxon conquest of Veligrad. So he's going to lose his capital. There's no way he can fight off Saxony. Poor, poor you. My steward. Oh, 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 okay. So we got some troops over here from Build Legend. Um, it's unfortunate. I don't have anybody to attack right now. And my levy is slightly reduced because we're building a monument. Oh, well, we'll have to see how that goes. But anyway, I'm going to stop here. Uh, I'm gonna do this campaign nice and slow. I hope you guys are prepared for that. I'm gonna try to be a bit more thoughtful about, you know, the decisions I make in the game. But I'm also gonna have fun. Like, I just had fun with the former Duke of Brandenburg. Which was a lot of fun. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.